special day today for people who like puppies. It's National Puppy Day. So here to talk with us about everything from choosing the right breed for you, which is the most important thing, and to potty training your pet is Stephanie Payne and from Camp Bow Wow in Byron Center. Yes. So thanks so much for joining that. I think that, um, that a lot of people go into it and don't realize that, you know, there's a lot of work if you want a well-behaved dog, yes, right? absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, my biggest thing when it comes to considering if you want a pet for your family is doing your research. Um, not only just researching your breeds, you want to make sure that the dog is going to be comfortable within your home and is mm -hmm. in the right setting. So, for example, um, if you want to get a good family dog, make sure that the whole family is on board with getting a dog, that they have the responsibilities and understand. <laughs> Very key. Very, yeah, <laughs> under, understanding their responsibilities and splitting that responsibility mm -hmm. up. If you do have younger kids, um, letting them know, like, Yay, we all got to be a team when it comes to the new family pet. I do think choosing the dog breed, though, is very important yes. because if you're an active family and the dog, you know, you've got kids in sports or whatever, and you're very active and you're not going to be able to exercise that dog, the dog's behavior isn't always its problem because sometimes it needs a lot of exercise. If you're getting a dog that's very active and it's in a crate all day and it gets a little bit of love at night and goes back in the crate, it's not your problem if it's naughty. Absolutely. So we had that with um, Ace here. He is a beagle mix, so he has lots and lots of energy. Um, so we really had to put that time in when it comes to uh, making sure he gets his proper exercise, his walks. Um, we use Camp Bow Wow, which is a doggy mm -hmm. daycare, so they get lots of playtime with other dogs, and it's great for socialization as well. Yep. Um, and having raised two labs, I can tell you there's a big difference when they get an, the energy that they're supposed to expend in. When they get that exercise, they listen so the well. The behavior, yes. absolutely. We, we can tell when uh, Ace and Bandit, we have two at home, uh, when they go to Camp Bow Wow, when they come home, they get pooped and ready, mm -hmm. ready to take a nap, and yeah. they're so well behaved because so they get that energy. Doing your out. research is really key. Yes. Also, when they're young, even though they're super cute, making sure that the behaviors that you want them to have as an adult dog are the behaviors you're instilling to, in them when they're little. Yes. And that's the toughest thing. Yes. They're so stinking cute. Yes. And you're just well, like, you can just climb on the bed with me. But if you don't want them in your bed, they can't start in the bed. Absolutely. So um, also making sure that the whole family knows if you don't want the dogs on the couch, make sure that everybody is in in um, communication saying, hey, nope, no dogs on the couch. Um, same with the bed. If you don't want the dogs in the bed, make sure that you have like a, a special space for them so they do have a place to go that they feel safe um, and when they don't try to sleep in your bed every night. Yeah. You talk about um, choosing a name wisely. Why yes. is that important? So when it comes to choosing a name, you do want to choose something that may be short so it does seem a little bit um, easier to understand when uh, you're learning their commands. So when you're telling them to sit, you want to say for Ace, we have a very short, sweet Ace sit. So he knows, well, he's not sitting, he's laying down now. <laughs> That's but okay, he's relaxed. Keeping that um, name short and sweet so they don't get confused, especially with other commands too. Um, so really choosing a name is very important when it comes to being able to train them as well. And a lot of people, you know, are on the fence about crate training and yes. whether or not they're, they should crate train yes. their dog. Is it cruel? Is it not? You know, your thoughts on that. So what we did is um, we did crate train. It's really nice to have a safe space for those dogs. They, even if you don't even keep the, keep the door mm -hmm. closed at all times, just so they have some sort of safe area for them to say, yep, I need a break from everybody. I'm going to go into my own little my own little space. world and yes. have a safe yes. place to sit. So I having know. their bed in there, keeping it open, even having a blanket over the crate really does help give them that because they love dogs space. love their dens yes. and that's a good place for yep. them. Uh, you also need to get biting. I mean, it's cute when they're puppies and they have tiny teeth, but you got to nip that in the butt. Yeah, so making sure that you uh, get biting right away because what are some tips you have? Some people say put put your fist in until it's uncomfortable. Yep, putting some your people fist do in. the pressure point. You can do pressure points. Um, Another thing that people don't uh, know is very common that you can yelp, kind of like when puppies do when they're with their litter mates. If you yelp like, oh, that hurts, they know that, hey, that's I, not, a that's good not thing. cool. I'm yeah. going to make sure that. Thanks for the that, advice so. on choosing the good pup yeah. for you. Happy National Puppy Day. If you've got one, we'd love to see it on our Facebook page, so post us some. You can find more information on our website, 13onyourside.com. We'll be right back.